what I wanted to talk about is, I, uh, I, I believe it was Scott Young in our Discord. He was asking, you know, what people thought about Seth Rollins' uh, his, his current title run. Like, he's he's like the working champion, and he's wrestling all comers, and he just beat Damian Priest. It just happened. <laughs> on Raw. Yeah, no. <laughs> but that's kind of the idea, right? Is Roman... Roman, Roman, Roman only wrestles for the big paydays because he's the heel mm. and your baby face is, you know, he's the working champion. He's wrestling every week. He's defending his title every week. And what it made me think about, uh, he's going to wrestle Finn Balor at the pay-per-view should be a yeah. good match. Uh, I don't know if Finn Balor is necessarily booked, uh, like, like a, a star star enough for me for, for that match to be, you know, this, this insane, uh build and and box office match but it'll be a good wrestling yeah. match and they're retelling the story from when finn balor won the original universal title and, and they're going that route but what it made me realize is i kind of wanted to rank all the wwe title uh holders hmm. and in in ranking the importance of the actual title because when i started to look at this now, Seth's belt is very new. He's the world heavyweight champion. Roman yeah. is the undisputed WWE universal champion. And I looked at it and I was like, okay, you know, how important is this brand new title? Because we keep calling it like the runners up title, mm -hmm. the consultation prize title. And I looked at, I think there's at least two other titles that are still, I think, more important to the big picture of WWE. And I may even throw Rhea's title above Seth right now. But I kind of wanted to get your thoughts on this because it's not, you know, we don't really look at it in this way. Yeah. But when I started to, to look, I was like, OK, whose title is more over? Gunther's Intercontinental Championship or Seth's Heavyweight Championship? And I think it's hands down Gunther. Yes. Like his title actually means something. And when somebody actually beats him, it's going to mean something. Yes. Um, if I was going to rank it right now, it'd be Roman number one with the, I guess what they call it, the universal title, right? Mm -hmm. The Yeah. The, the undisputed universal champion. Undisputed universal champion. <laughs> um, number two would be Gunther. Um, okay. Now here's, here's where it gets a little interesting because we don't normally think about it this way. But I think I would actually put Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's tag team title. I was gonna say Austin Theory maybe might be up higher than that because he's so. Ball, but the back. reason I say that is because they actually main event with this title, with this mm -hmm. tag title, right? Um, all you know with with the bloodline, obviously that's that yeah. was the main storyline. Now they're not currently uh, in that storyline as much, though. Sammy is still giving Jay his pep talks, but. It is like a main event. The tag team titles are like main event belts right now. So if someone said Gunther, ah, that's fine. But I think the tag straps got to be up there as far as importance. And so you actually think Austin Theory's title is important because I would put him below Seth and below um, the tag titles uh, and maybe even below Rhea. Just mm -hmm. the way that 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 Rhea's run has been so impressive so far. But uh, talk talk about why you'd put Austin's belt a little higher. He, he's had a long run with it, and he's been great. And he's been, uh, you know, he has a lot of heat on him. So beating him is going to be a big deal when it does happen. Whoever does beat him as well, and they not as big as probably Gunther's reign, but it's going to be pretty big. Um, I just feel bad because like Seth Rollins right now just won this thing. Yeah. And but I think he's doing a good job. Like right, you know, they're going to do the match next week against Braun Breaker on NXT television, which um, I thought you know Seth defending the, the title. So he's kind of traveling, right, as a world champion. Um, I think by by SummerSlam, I think honestly by SummerSlam, I think it, it, I think it'll be the number two title. At least you know Roman's reign has been so long now. It's just there's no one's going to eclipse that. You know. It may not even go through, so it'd be a solid number three. I think Seth's really doing his best to try to make this belt important. Yeah, and yeah, it's nothing against him. I think he's no. doing a really good yeah. job, though his character is so unique in that it's not even really a true babyface because uh, on Raw, 
he was doing the th- doing the uh, interview segment with Finn, and the crowd would not stop humming that song, and poor Finn just had to look like a jackass in the middle of this ring and not be able to get the point across that he wanted to get. And yeah, I saw that promo. Like I think. I think I would have been fine with Seth kind of playing along for a couple minutes, but I really wish he would have tried to figure out how to get them to stop so that Finn Just could actually talking. say what he, yeah, like he played into it so much that the fans just kept doing it. And I was like, okay, it is annoying now. Not to say that, you know, it's a rare occasion. Dominic gets the heat. And I think mm. the crowd now believes it is sort of their part <laughs> to do it now. Whereas before it was really organic. But my worry is, is that, you know, we know what happens when the chants take over, like the what chant is them allowing the baby face to keep interrupting heels. And now it just it's still it's, yeah. it's, it's still there. So I would just be careful with that if I were them. Like if I was Seth, I would be careful because it's it comes across obnoxious mm-hmm. uh, if you do it too much. But uh, I mean, the crowd loves it. The crowd loves that little moment. That's their moment to sing, just like Jericho's theme song the crowd doesn't care if he's a heel or baby face they still sing so the audience participation part is cool but i just i i just i, I want to i i know seth's character is unique and that is part of the appeal in that he's kind of in this gray line of baby face and heel because he's so cocky still yeah but i think the true essence of who uh, of that character getting over even bigger is just leaning into the baby face side just a little bit more yeah, if it was I mean, Finn, if it was me, or at least my direction to him, if he asked, like, what do I do to keep singing? Just just ignore him and just do your promo, you know? Yeah. And, but they didn't. I I'm, I was fine with it, I guess, you know? I saw people on Twitter were cracking me up, like, oh, poor Finn. And I'm like, I guess people get this. this he, he should, the one person's like, he should have never left New Japan. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that big house he owns now and all that big stuff. Big house, yeah. Big house, the money he's making. Yeah, he's just stuck with New Japan. You know, crazy people. No, he's he, he's he's in the perfect place yeah. where where he could possibly be. Uh, in, in ADW, he'd be kind of with a lot of the guys who are another guy. great, you know, really good wrestlers, but they don't have uh, spots for them necessarily at the top. I, I think it's great. He's he's a, he's in a heel group that is over. They got the the best uh, the top woman mm-hmm. uh, on the roster in it. They got the heat seems. magnet in Dom Priest. Got, I know that this whole thing seems to be built for LA Knight, but man, give my guy Priest some. I think Priest some is love. I hope he wins it. I think he truly is because they want to go babyface with Priest. Okay, so. hold 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 that thought. Okay, okay. because we're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to Money in the Bank, and, and I do right. want to get your thoughts more about sure. that. So. Okay, so we got our we got our rankings there. So you're a little bit higher on Austin. I'm higher on uh, on Rhea's belt and the tag belts than Austin. But you know, Asuka's belt and the tag yeah. titles, the the women's tag titles. Ronda and Shayna have a lot of work to do for those belts because there's not great there's not great teams for yeah. one. Yeah, and you know they they ha- they are in a unique mode with their characters where. In order for them to stay over, they just got to beat the hell out of everybody else. Mm-hmm. But then the baby faces don't get over, so it, we'll we'll see what happens. Ronda yeah. and Shayna need someone like Charlotte to team up with someone. Yeah, that's what I was of importance too. to have like a feud to make that make those belts important. But yeah, I do like the fact that they're gonna just uh, unify the NXT Women's Title with the WWE Women's Tag Team Title because that NXT Women's Tag Team Title was kind of pointless, you know. Yeah, no, it's I didn't add any of the NXT belts, the NXT belts, you know, even though Carmelo is a really good champion, Wesley is a good North American champion, though, you know, the NXT show in of itself, uh, it's just a, you know, it's a it's a it's a grade down from the WWE stuff. So I don't I wouldn't put any of those folks in the mix. 